In this video, we'll walk you through Darwin's worldview and share some tips and tricks to help you annotate every file as quickly and accurately as possible. This is Darwin's work view. Anyone annotating in V7 will spend the bulk of their time here. So let's quickly get acquainted before diving into some tips on how to speed up any annotation task. Starting with the left-hand side of the page, you'll see a list of all V7's annotation tools. Check out the video in the description to learn more about how you can set a limit to this list for specific users. At the very bottom of the screen, you'll find the file carousel, which you can use to move through the files that are currently assigned to you, or copy file names with a click. Now in video files, you find the video timeline, the playhead, video controls, and a hamburger menu, which will allow you to adjust the timeline appearance and the default length of your annotations. Moving further to the right is the Tags menu, including all tags that have been added to the dataset. Above that, you'll find the Annotations menu, where you can highlight annotations, add sub-annotations, and hide annotations individually, globally, or by class. You can also hide or reveal sub-annotations to open the edit menu on all annotations in a file. The review tab contains all comments and provides the option to hide or reveal comments. You can also review annotation instructions, review keyboard shortcuts, don't worry, we'll come back to these, and adjust image and annotation appearance without changing the source files by using the image manipulation panel. All right, let's look at the top panel and we can start annotating. Move files to the next annotation stage and review the annotation history in the top right of the page. You can click on the previous workflow stage to turn on time travel, revealing what annotations looked like in a previous stage. Next to this, we have the annotation timer and the forward and backward arrows, which we can use to move between files. In the middle of it all, we have the main event the image canvas. Now let's take a look at how we can use V7's hotkeys and shortcuts to annotate as quickly and as easily as possible. This all starts with the project setup. When creating classes, you can set a hotkey between 1 and 9. This will enable annotators to equip and update classes and tags with a single keystroke. In this example, I've given the car class a hotkey of 1 enabling me to select each vehicle instance and change the class by hitting 1 on the keyboard. Each tool also has its own set of keyboard shortcuts. Hover over each tool to learn its specific shortcuts and start using them immediately. They become muscle memory before you know it. Now let's look at a few common use cases for tool-based shortcuts. I can use the N key to equip auto-annotate and create a polygon. We could spend a whole video on how to speed things up further with Auto Annotate and V7's other model tools, and we've already got one for you in the link below. But for now, let's focus on our new polygon. Let's say I want to edit it with the brush tool. I can hit V on my keyboard to equip the edit tool, select the polygon, and then hit F to equip the brush or E to equip the eraser. Now I'll hit the square brackets to increase or decrease the size of my brush tip. I'll make an edit and hit enter to save. You can also press Q to open up the classes menu when you have a tool equipped, and the arrow and enter keys to navigate through and change classes. When you are done with an annotation, you can use shift and enter to send files to the next stage instantly. Now, if you're working with video data, you can use the spacebar to play and pause the video playback, and use the period and comma keys to move backwards and forwards by one or more frames. You can really believe me when I say keyboard shortcuts are particularly important for video segmentation. Let's create an annotation using the Segment Anything model in frame 1. After creating our initial annotation, Click on the centroid and select Edit Auto Annotate. Hit Option plus Enter to move forward and edit each subsequent frame, adding positive and negative points as needed. Now, if you create the same polygon with Auto Annotate, we can again create an initial annotation 
and then hit Edit Auto Annotate. Hit Period to move forward frame by frame and hit Rerun with each new frame, editing as you go. This demonstrates how we can make edits frame by frame, but for most video use cases, this can be done even faster with AutoTrack. Check out the link in the description to learn how to annotate videos even more efficiently. Also, for every click you make with the mouse in V7, there's a good chance V7 has a shortcut to accomplish the same thing. I will leave another link to a video below to find out how you can use V7's models to make annotations even more efficiently. We hope this video could help you with getting started with V7.